Webflow Fall Course in 2023 Complete Tutorial for Beginners. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily get started with Webflow. They provide us the opportunity to create different websites from scratch. They have their own website builder so we can use their templates or create the website from scratch. In order to get started, we need to visit webflow.com. So here we are on their main page. And as you can see, they have some information like about products, solution, resources, enterprise, and of course about their pricing. But don't worry, we can easily start for free. So in order to get started, we need to click on start building in the central part or in the right top corner. So we'll come to this page where we need to create an account. So we can easily continue with Gmail. As for me, this is the most suitable variant. So I'm just going to continue with gmail and here we are on our home page basically in the top of the screen we have some folders dashboard marketplace learn and resources they're about like different tutorials dashboard provides us the opportunity to deal all of our websites as you can see i already have two of them and on marketplace we can find like overview libraries app hire an expert and templates made in webflow uh, like websites so in this case, we are going to deal with dashboard. As you can see, we have like two websites here. We can click on more and we can find some options. We can do like settings, editor, share, move to folder, duplicate or delete. So we can easily edit them if we need or we can delete. So as you can see, I'm just going to delete this website forever. Uh, because in this case we are going to create it from scratch so all we need to do is just to click on a new site in the right side right up here so let's click and after that we'll come to this page where we need to like choose the necessary template or we can easily create it from scratch so we can start from blank canvas and build exactly what you're like envisioning they also provides us the opportunity to use some of their like um, non like design templates with portfolio starter business starter and store starter they're totally free if we'll scroll down for a little we can find some paid like uh, templates we can easily use like these 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 about portfolio urgency and so on and they also provide us the opportunity to use some of their free templates for example for small businesses learning blog photography and so on so it's pretty cool that they have like paid uh, templates and the templates we can use for free so here you can decide is it necessary for you to buy or you can easily try it for free and after that maybe like change it to another design let's try to use this one here so i'm just going to click on select we can easily preview it also as you can see it looks like this as for me pretty cool so let's click on select and we'll come to our editor page but firstly we into the change the name let it be like blog something like this create a website and in a few seconds we'll come to our like editor page where we can find all the features we can easily do with our website so here we are in the top of the screen we have like the menu a small menu here menu here so we can easily switch between different devices in the top of the screen as you can see like to computer to even television uh, maybe to tablet or phone and as you can see it was successfully adopted to all of the devices and it's pretty cool because you know uh, different users use the website from different devices and as for me it's pretty pretty cool in the left top corner we can also switch between different pages where we can find all the pages and easily switch between them for example we have like home page contact subscribe template page and so on so if we click on contact we'll come to our contact page and as for me it's pretty pretty cool you know so let's go back to home page and uh, also we have like some interaction buttons we can easily add the elements here in the plus area so uh, we can easily add some sections container grids columns div blocks list and so on like heading paragraph text link text block and a lot of stuff some media with images videos youtube videos like different animation form block label inputs and so on so all the uh, like elements you want to add is right up here so please come here and try to find it by yourself also we have like different components here we, we can create new component or just deal with existing ones uh, we can also use the navigator here as you can see we can find all the structure of our website like page wrapper contains from header header contains from like container and search a model and both of them are also have something inside so this is provides us the opportunity to you know like um, 
find this structure and make it easier to understand. Also, we have like pages area here where we can also like switch between pages. The same option is right up here. And there is like CMS collections where we can uh, deal with CMS collections. We have the option to add our team if we need. If you have like a teammate to create this website with, we can easily create it from um, like share it from here. We can create a store by simply clicking on it. We can manage setup guide, products, um, categories, discounts, orders, and so on. And this is a way basically of how can we create an online store if you need. And we also have some assets here. This is basically like our library. All of the photos are here so we can easily like upload them from our computer and then deal with them easily. So I think it's pretty cool. And uh, in the central part, we have like our manage area where we can view the website. How does it looks like? And in the right side, there is like different properties of the block is selected in the central part. So for example, if you need to change this one here, we just simply need to click. And as you can see, we have all the settings in the right uh, like corner. We can find the style selector layout. We can change like settings, but uh, like manage the padding margin and so on. So it's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, also there's like position, settings, typography, and so on. There are a lot of options we can easily change in this area here. We also have like settings, like some other stuff. And in this case, we can interact with every single part. We just simply need to click. And as you can see, we can easily manage all the features here. And in order to publish the website, we just simply need to click on publish in the right top corner here. And as you can see, they provides us the opportunity to uh, create like a custom domain or we can easily use free domain with subdomain webflow.io so i'm going to use like this one i'm just simply going to click on publish to select the domains and in a few seconds everything is done basically after that uh, we are going to click on publish successfully now we can go to our dashboard in the left top corner just simply click on dashboard and as you can see now we have it right up here so we can easily even visit our our website and as you can see it looks like this it's already available on the internet so you can easily share this link to your friend to your customers and so on so it's pretty cool of course they have like their paid plans as you can see there are like five plans free one called starter $40 per month with basic CMS with $22 per month businesses with 39 and enterprise with like different prices for every single company you can find the differences right up here and you can easily try it for free as you can see and after that you can decide is it suitable as for you to buy some maybe basic or cms or even businesses plan so as for me this platform is pretty cool so i suggest you to try it by yourself and this is a way of how can we get started with webflow hope this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye